what is the easiest way to dip your toes into the online business world and make money from what you know, what your unique expertise is? The answer, eBooks. In this video, I'm showing you how to sell digital products and eBooks the easy way using one of my favorite tools, SendOwl. With this tool, you set things up once and then simply drive traffic to your eBook product page or checkout page and bring in those sales. It is one of the quickest and easiest ways to set up a passive income stream in your business. And this is the exact system I use in my own business to sell hundreds of eBooks every year. My name is Brie and I'm here to help you crush your course launch, create an incredible online program and hit consistent 5k months in your business. So if any of those are goals that you want to hit, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified every Friday when a new video goes live. So let's get started. SendOwl is a tool that allows you to sell your ebook online and automatically deliver it to customers once they buy it. It makes this super simple, super automated, so you can focus on promoting your products, growing your audience, and scaling your sales. So with SendOwl, you can sign up and get started with just the basics for $9 a month. This is the plan that I use, but with the $9 a month plan, you can start with a free trial and it goes up to 10 products. So for most people, especially if you're getting started, this is more than enough. But once you sign up, once you choose your plan and you sign up with a Zendel account, you'll log in and this will be your dashboard. So the first thing you need to do is you'll need to set up your PayPal or Stripe integration. Once you've done that, you can go into the settings in Zendel and under gateways, taxes and fraud, you can go to payment gateways and set up your connections with those systems. So you can go here and it'll walk you through the process. It's really quick and simple to set up. You'll get your API keys and enter them in there to connect the payment processors with SendOut. Once you've done that, you're ready to upload your first product. So I'm gonna go on over to the product section and I wanna add a product. So depending on what you're selling, you can choose something here. I am just going to be selling an ebook. So I'm gonna go and enter product. So this is a digital file since it is an ebook. If you have something else, this is where you would choose how that works. So let's go and set up our product name, our file and our pricing. I'm going to attach the file. You can enter in a URL as well um, if you have it hosted somewhere already. So I'm gonna upload my file and then set my price. So say I'm gonna sell this for $9. I'm gonna create my product and then it'll upload the file. So now my product has been created and technically you can go ahead and start selling this already. So I could just click that link and that'll take you right to this checkout page where you can choose if you're paying by credit card or by PayPal and your buyers can go ahead and buy it right away. But this page doesn't have very much information. It doesn't even say what exactly we're buying. And for that, we need to set up our product page. So if you scroll down here, if you're gonna be selling your ebook from your website or your blog, we don't wanna use the general buy now button or that'll take us to that quick sell page that we just saw. Instead, we wanna go and select product sales page and this is the code that you would paste into your blog on the page you want to add this. But first, if I want to preview this, I wanna see what this page is going to look like, I wanna go and select and copy that link here in the first section. This right now is my product page and it right now is empty. It simply has the product title, the price, and a buy now button, which takes me to that payment page from before. So in order to edit that, let's go down here to edit product and we wanna to go to sales details page. So this is where you would add in, say an image, you can add in a description, add in summary points of what is included. So let's add a product image. I'm gonna go and choose my file. And I have this ebook mockup that I created in Canva. I'm gonna paste it in a description, just describing what this is, what is somebody getting when they download it. So summary points. You can use this to outline exactly what is covered. So for example, five best free growth strategies, let's add an item and you can add in more points. How to monetize on Instagram with a small audience. So once I'm happy with that, I can save and we are happy with that now. So let's go and view the button code. So again, we wanna go down here and go to the product sales page. 
and just copy that link here at the beginning. So let's paste that into the browser. And now that is what my buy now page looks like. So you can play around with this. If you're not happy with the setup, you can change how that looks, add in more information and get it to a point where you're happy with the look and feel of that. Um, but once you've done that, that is basically good. That's ready to go. That's ready to be sold. But there are a few things you might want to change with your settings, with your delivery options to really fine tune that to make sure you're giving your customers the best experience possible. So I'm going to go back to edit product and under advanced options, click to view advanced options. So if you want to set it as price is a guide, let people choose their own pricing. You can check that. You can change your currency to whatever currency you would like. Most of these options I don't bother with, but the ones that I do are the download attempts. So this is good to help protect yourself. I usually set this to three download attempts. That way when somebody gets their delivery email, they have three attempts to download that file, your ebook or whatever it is. And then after those three attempts are done, they can't download any more copies. This just helps protect you, protects people from downloading unlimited copies of your ebook and sharing it with all of their friends. This helps protect you with that. And you can also set a redirect URL. So say you have an upsell into a course or another product you want to sell, you can set that. So the thank you page after somebody buys takes them to that page that sells them on something else. Um, that's a good use of this. You can set that up if you want to see if you can sell more products to somebody who's already proven to be a buyer. And the last thing you may want to change, you may want to customize is the delivery email. So this is the email that gets sent when somebody buys your ebook, they get sent an email automatically with their download link. So you can customize this to say whatever you want. So under settings, you want to go over to customer emails. You can change your name and reply options. So change the name that the email is from. And if you want to change the actual email content, we go down here to email template page. But the email delivery email that we want to customize here is the new order. So right now, this is what the email will look like. So when somebody buys my ebook right now, it would say hi, whatever their name is, say it's John. Thanks for ordering from us. This email confirms your order of the following item. It gives them their order ID number and it tells them what they've ordered. Down here, we have their download email that they can use up to three times to download the ebook or, or whatever we have sold them. And then it goes, thanks from the send out. So say I want to change the wording of that. I would simply go in here, change what I want to say. I want to make this instead of thanks from the send out, thanks from Brie at Course Boss. And then I would update that. So now whenever somebody orders from me, it would say that instead. So you can change and edit these emails or just simply keep it whatever the default is. They'll get their ebook. They get the information they need in order to download their product. But that is basically it. Once you have done all of these things, you've got everything set up and you're ready to start promoting your ebook. So let's dive into a little bit of the strategy behind actually selling your ebook. Now that you've got your system set up, you're ready to take payments and you have it set up. So your ebooks get delivered automatically when somebody buys it. How exactly do you promote that? How do you drive that traffic to the ebook so you can make those sales and create that passive income stream? So some tips for selling and promoting your ebook. This is exactly what I do in my business. These are all the various places that I promote my own ebooks in order to have that passive income stream. So first up is to make sure you have a link or a landing page dedicated to your ebook on your website. So that means having a link somewhere on your homepage with a call to action to get people to go and learn more about your ebook. You should be highlighting the problems it solves or the outcomes that it gets them to entice people to go ahead and take a look at your ebook. The second place you want to be promoting your ebook is to your email list. Every online business should have an email list of ideal customers and clients who you get through freebies, through lead magnets and things that entice somebody to sign up. But this is your warm audience. These are the people that already know, like, and trust you. So make sure you have something set up to promote your eBooks to the audience every so often. Alternatively, you could set up a email funnel. So say you have a five email welcome sequence that welcomes new people to your email list. In one or several of those emails, you can mention your ebook, why they should get it and give them a link so they can go and buy it. 
This works really well because people who sign up for your email list are there to learn from you. They are there to have you help them solve their problems and reach their goals. And your ebook is one of the best ways you can impart your knowledge to them and help them. And next, you want to promote your ebook on social media. So whether you're focusing on Facebook, if you have a Facebook group, or if you do Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever platforms are your main platforms, you should be promoting your ebook on there consistently. That means talking about why it's so great, what they'll learn from it, why they need it, and having a strong call to action that calls them to go and actually buy it, that calls them to go click that link and get out their credit cards. Sprinkling these out throughout the week is a good idea, depending on how much you're already promoting. But a mistake I see a lot of new business owners and entrepreneurs making is that they promote their product once and then forget about it. But you have new people coming into your audience every single day. Most of them have not seen your offer. And even the people that have been around for a while don't see all of your posts. They do not see this. And somebody does need to see your offer multiple times before they normally will buy. And the last place that I promote my ebook is one of the most powerful actually, and probably drives most of my ebook sales, which is to include pop-ups and links within your relevant blog posts. So on my website, I write a lot about Instagram growth strategies, how to grow your audience, how to sell on Instagram, and my ebook also tackles these subjects in a more in-depth manner. So in every single blog post I have on my site, I have links with calls to action telling people to go check out my ebook if they want to learn more from me. I also have this pop-up that shows up whenever anybody lands on one of my blog posts. So this comes up right away. It gives them that incentive, that 50% discount to grab that book right now instead of putting it off until later. Because when people put things off till later, they usually don't come back and they usually don't buy. Including links to your ebook in the middle of your blog post and again at the end is a good practice because the people that are getting that far into reading your blog are dedicated and interested in that subject. So they are the people that are most likely to buy your product. So that is basically how I sell ebooks in my business. Any traffic that comes to my site, that comes through social media, gets directed toward my product. They get funneled towards that landing page, towards that checkout page for that ebook. And by doing this, I maximize my chances of getting those sales, of increasing that passive income stream through selling my eBooks and other digital products. So let me know in a comment below, which of these methods are you planning on implementing? Of course, it depends on what your main focus is. If it's blogging, having those links in there can be really powerful. But if you are more on social media, if you're a YouTuber, there's other good places to include those links as well. So share in a comment. I'd love to know how you are planning on selling your eBooks. As you know, eBooks are a great way to dip your toes into the digital product world, but the real money is in higher ticket products like coaching programs and courses. So if you've been thinking about adding an online course to your business offerings, if you are thinking about it, but you're overwhelmed and you don't know where to start, I can help. I'm hosting an exclusive free training called Course Idea to Consistent Profit. And in this training, you'll learn my step-by-step -step formula for creating, launching, and scaling your online course-based business in the next 90 days or less. And this can all be achieved with the methods you'll learn in this training without relying on paid ads and without already having a large audience to rely on. You can do all of this even if you are starting from zero. So click the link in the description below to grab your spot. This is completely free and I share some of my best knowledge bombs in this training. There has literally never been a better time to get out there and create your course and I would love to help you make that a reality. As always, thanks for sticking it out to the end with me. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit subscribe, share it with a friend who could also make use of the lessons I teach in these videos. This is the best way you can help support me with this channel so I can keep bringing the free value to you guys. And if you're ready to take your course-based business to the next level, check out these videos next.